Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Lin versus E A Ling or 120. This game taking place here on Twisted Meadows 1.1. Here we have Lin spawning as the blue orc going into four times speed at least for the first two minutes to save myself I don't know what a minute and a half um, of just looking at um, well, these build orders. If you guys need to study the build orders, definitely check out the replay. Um, there is a link in the description box. I don't know if you guys know that, but I do link back if there's any particular strategy that you want to see. Game is underway here. Blade Master going to be using that classic trapping trick. Going to go ahead and run that. Um, oh, ooh, what is this? Acolyte actually comes back across here. And oh, that was a brilliant, brilliant play indeed. I cannot believe I, I'm if you miss that. So 120 knows about this trapping trick that is often done by the orc players to easily clear out this rock golem. He came out, scouted the positioning, and realized, oh, there's the ensnare. And well, the blade master is not going to be able to use that trapping trick at all. That four scroll trapper getting within snaring distance, and now well, the blade master has to completely throw his plan out the window while also having invested fairly heavily into that particular strategy and used over 225 mana i would think to try and come across with that strategy and it just did not work out well meanwhile 120 is already out clearing out additional creep camps has more experience on the board gotten to level two and well the blade master still has nothing to really show for it except for a lot of damage on his back no clarity potion does have healing salve though could healing salve himself and then well healing salve himself buy something and then a win walk away if necessary as the blade master does know where that death knight is grunt simply just trying to run away right now unable to do um, um do too much as he is down to what 628 hit points blade master ready to cause a bit of disruption as well trying to rack up some damage onto that uh, onto that death knight death knight get death coil onto the ghoul he's gonna be able to keep it alive as well as there is still a fair number of ghouls and now getting a beautiful surround right there blade master is gonna oh uh, sorry no brute breaking that surround right there purposely backing off not quite sure if the grunt was purposely attacking the null brute to no it wasn't low on hit points it just didn't want the ghouls to get that grunt kill some e some interesting things that i haven't seen in well 20 years of warcraft 3 um in, in a professional game at least uh, watching a surround being broken because the creeps decided you know what I'm going to stand here just long enough. All right, Ghoul going to end up staying alive here. Death Coil, and, well, no, no Death Coil onto that Ghoul. Ghoul is just going to head back onto Blight and regenerate hit points the old-fashioned way. <laughs> back off to the north. Grunt purposely pulling aggro away here. Blade Master may try and hire up a well, Force Troll Berserker for a little bit of additional ranged damage or a Force Troll Shadow Priest, something of that of something of that nature as the units are now looking to retreat back all right rock golem gonna absorb gonna take a little bit of damage there gonna go ahead and get that surround and now forest troll berserker that re remember that is in fact a lens as, as that will get taken down right there giving level two potion of greater mana now dropped as well all right ogre warrior gonna get taken down critical strike also being trained up as well as the blade master will need to get in some healing salves to heal back up all of these remaining units death knight already sitting at level three tech to tier two um is already done now taking the tier three a graveyard being placed down slaughterhouse should be right behind it and also a lich coming into play as well twisted meadows is a very very large map with plenty of creeping opportunities picking up that robe of magi plus six gonna greatly help that lich when it comes out as we all know how expensive but how powerful that frost nova is clearing up the remainder of this creep camp here meanwhile blade master off to the north um, looking to clear down this rock golem creep camp there was a hex as the shadow hunter has made its way out onto the battlefield 
All right, Rock Golem about to get taken down. More healing salves could be given. Force Troll High Priest was unable to use that healing salve for multiple targets. That ensnare actually disrupting the bit of healing. Inner Fire now coming back across as well. As level 3 on that Blade Master with the Shadow Hunter not too far behind at level 2. Healing salve there once more. Plenty of item usage as we are now going to tier 3 by Lin. Meanwhile, well, um, 120 also nearly at tier 3. Does, is the Lich out onto the battlefield? Yes, it is. So the Lich is out on the battlefield bringing Rod of Necromancy as the Death Knight army. Not that many ghouls out onto the battlefield any longer. Only a handful or perhaps they're all harvesting lumber. Yeah, there was actually one, what, six ghouls harvesting lumber trying to get um, more lumber going here and not attacking with the entire army. All right, in comes the Blade Master. Blade Master now, well, wind walking around here. Lich now needs to retreat back. Does have gloves of haste. Doesn't have that orb of corruption as of yet. Are we going to see a last bit of damage? There's that Death Coil Frost Nova. Um, but the Vampiric Aura picked up by the Blade Master, a very powerful item um, for the Blade Master if he needs a little bit more heals or perhaps a little bit more... Um, more damage all right there is dust of appearance on the blade master blade master now trying to walk back up take down that low hit point ghoul there's a frost nova there as the death knight um, unable to save his partner there as the death knight just got enough mana even if he was able to get the death coil off the blade master might have been close by enough to well um finish off the ghoul even though it was within range or he had enough mana Death Knight now bringing over an Orb of Corruption to that Lich. Obsidian statues now all out here onto the battlefield as well. Going to transfer that Orb of Corruption over as the Blade Master now ready to dive on in. Are we going to see some ensnares on to any units? There goes a Dust of Appearance and snare onto the Lich. A Lich, however, able to stay alive. Healing Wave keeping that Blade Master alive for a little while longer. Down to 300 hit points. Are, are he going to get taken down? There is that Wind Walk in order to get away as the Lich ends up surviving scroll of town portal transferred over in time all right blade master may try and finish off the remainder of this rock golem creep camp meanwhile undead may try and disrupt try to creep jack back here as slipper of agilities is dropped there's a quick roar picking up that slippers of agility and now those units are all trying to retreat back there goes a frost nova orb of corruption a raider easily going to get taken down as that grunt is going to get finished or, or going to be able to run back away again Lich staying at level 1, but that Lich already a very hard-heading, fast-attacking Lich, plus 11 damage with that Orb of Corruption debuff, and Obsidian Statues now making their way over. Torin Chieftain, the third and final hero for the Orc Army. Lesser Clarity Potion handed off to that Shadow Hunter. Wait, yeah, she needs to be picked up by that Shadow Hunter. Needs a lot of mana in order to keep things alive and well. That Scroll of the Beast was used earlier. Well, there goes a stomp right there as a couple of ghouls are were already in a bit of trouble. There goes a purge. However, um, units, um, or no, Orb of Lightning purge right there able to stop that ghoul in its track the blade of that blade master rather long allowing that final shot off blade master with orb of lightning always a bit of a of a dangerous proposition as when you're able to proc that orb of lightning what um, you stop the target in its tracks long enough and that can also affect destroyers destroyers oftentimes and um, not having to really worry about uh, about any purges now suddenly has to worry about the auto attack of that ranged Blade Master as he's attacking air. Torin Chieftain now getting taken down. Death Coil Frost Nova quickly melts away all of his hit points or freezes him in place, depending on the well the imagery you want to use. Death Knight now able to retreat back that frost armor, greatly reducing the amount of damage he was he has taken as a bonus armor coupled with a, a, attack slowing down. Death Coil catching that Dark Ranger as it was trying to re, um, retreat away. They will be able to stay alive as we see Silence now go down onto the Shadow Hunter, preventing any any healing wave there. More attacks getting underway. Shadow Hunter trying to go back across here. Destroyer now up in the air. Shadow Hunter actually in a bit of trouble. What is Lin thinking? Lin does a healing wave of on himself, but it does not look like he's going to be able to really really stay alive up all that easily still trying to retreat back around destroyer and death knight still giving chase here as a shadow hunter really has nowhere to go more auto attacking coming across there goes an ensnare there blade master may try to go after there's a hex onto the death knight and death knight ends up falling that was completely baited right there 
as the Shadow Hunter was about to fall, but the Blade Master comes in from behind. Now, what's going to come back across the other way? Are we going to see a little bit of a heal? Torrent Chieftain could throw down a stomp. Yes, there is a stomp onto the Death Knight. Death Knight now in a little bit of trouble. There's a potion of healing used there as a Crypt Fiend going to get taken down as well. Purge onto that destroyer. Destroyer unable to retreat easily, trying to shake off a little bit of that damage. It will get taken down, giving level four to the Blade Master. Death Knight still alive, at least for now, trying to finish things off. More and more berserkers racking up damage here as the obsidian statues now making their way around. Silence going down here. Torrent Chieftain not going to be able to throw down a stomp, even if he had the mana, as he's still trying to dance back and forth again. All right. Death Knight giving chase back off to the north. Blade Master and Shadow Hunter both low on hit points as the Torrent Chieftain, well, unable to dodge the auto attacks of that Lich enough. Silence now going down onto the Shadow Hunter. Frost Nova, Death Coil, and Death onto the Shadow Hunter. So many hero deaths coming back and forth as the Blade Master tries to avenge, uh, avenge his brethren here. More damage getting racked up here. Headhunter or Berserker trying to go after the Death Knight. Death Knight, however, am able to run away quickly with the help of that unholy aura as we're looking at some more engagement underway. Death Knight has a potion of lesser invulnerability. Dust of Appearance. Blade Master now being forced to retreat back as he is revealed. No ensnares going down either as the Death Knight still running back and forth here. All right, Blade Master. Um, while well, trying to lead the army away, the un uh, Obsidian Statue actually leading the charge there as the Death Coil finds a grunt, but he had just regenerated enough hit points to stay alive. Death Knight sitting at level 4. Lich sitting at level 2, nearly at level 3. Dark Ranger already at 2 as well. Back inside the base of Lin. We could be looking at some resurrecting heroes. Torrent Chieftain already back out onto the battlefield, resurrected at home. Shadow Hunter resurrected at the tavern, low on hit points and mana. All right, we are at about nine. What what is that? Or eight? About uh, seven and a half minutes of mining left inside the main bases. We do not have fortified armor on those burrows, so those burrows could get taken down very, very quickly as the as Lin tries to hold off this aggression coming in from 120. All right, it, in comes the damage here. Remember, burrows also give experience. That is a bit of a, a a bit of a proposition as the Lich could get up to level three very quickly if he takes down the burrow and the peons that are inside. Peons trying to retreat back. Lich is still trying to inch closer towards level 3. Reinforced defense is getting started, but a little bit late as one burrow falls incredibly fast. Back down to the south here, Death Knight. Dark Ranger, Lich, making rounds as well. Destroyers getting um, ready as well as the uh, what Torin Chieftain, Shadow Hunter, Comet, Blade Master looking to clear out some more creep camps in the corner, perhaps getting that Endurance Aura to catch up to that Unholy Aura from that Death Knight. All right, Lich does find level three, so level two Death Coil now coupled along with level two Frost Nova um, as potions and vulnerability should be given back to other heroes as well. All right, Forest Troll Warlord easily going to get taken down right there. Forest Troll High Priest trying to his best to heal up, but not going to be able to do that and all that much. Coming back around, we could have a potential creep jack. Yes, we do. The timing on this is going to be key, though. How much of this creep camp is left as a circuit of nobility is left behind right there. All right, Death Knight taking this opportunity to clear it out as, well, Lin did not pull the trigger on this creep jack. And now just wandering around here trying to figure out what it can do. Now looking to back away. Boots of Quelt the Loss. A plus six. He has plus 18 damage. A decent amount of armor. That Blade Master will be difficult to shut down. Aside from hero nukes, which, well, we know that the Orc, uh, the Undead Army has plenty of. Blade Master now trying to back away. There's that Dust of Appearance. Blade Master looking to retreat back once more. Meanwhile, the Torrent Chieftain having Ring of Regeneration. Shadow Hunter sitting at level three on the cusp of level four as well as the Blade Master harassment strategy to try and buy time to level up the other heroes. Um, well, is quickly, quickly coming to an end. Rock Golem going to get finished off here. Shadow Hunter, Blade Master, Torrent Chieftain, no scroll of Town Portal. And with that, going to have a little bit of a difficult time. True Shot Aura going to be given to the Shadow Hunter for that little bit of bonus damage. Now, 
um, Kodo Beast damage and a little bit of range damage here. Let's teleport back to the side. No, Voodoo Lounge going to be cleaned up 53 over 61 supply. More Berserkers and Raiders are getting added in once more. 52 supply. This is incredibly close as the Blade Master opts to clear out some Ogre Warrior creep camps and Ogre Magi creep camps instead of going after his own base. Torin Chieftain should pick up the no, crystal ball picked up by the shadow hunter here and now this is pretty much just free rain in or free damage inside the base but it looks like lin responding properly not wanting to uh, well over commit knowing that the army here cannot really easily take down um, buildings in a very very efficient manner kodo beast however well is another is another property entirely as it quickly gets taken down in a no time flat all right torrent chieftain gonna try and throw down a stomp we're looking at a couple of buildings were taken down destroyers trying to retreat back away another crypt fiend lost right there voodoo lounge being built 49 supply over 61 going up against 54 over 60 did that kodo beast get anything in its belly no it did not so still a slight advantage for 120 Now, go going into the final moments of this game, it appears, how are things going to close out? Death Knight picking up an Amulet of Spell Shield. That could be the difference as the Amulet of Spell Shield does negate a hex that goes down on to that Death Knight. If the Shadow Hunter does not re re remember that there is an Amulet of Spell Shield there, that's going to be quite a bit of a problem. Torin Chieftain picking up a Kalgar's Gem of Health plus 300 hit points to keep him alive and well in that front line position. Blade Master sitting at 850 hit points. Where, what is going to go down here? Dark Ranger going to perhaps try and engage. Blade Master gets in some, well, purge lightning attacks onto those destroyers trying to slow them down. Kodo Beast is going to easily get finished off here. There's a scroll of speed in order to try and get away, trying to run away very quickly. That Kodo Beast able to escape at 242 stomp, but can't negate the stomp. All right. So I get Amulet of Spell Shield only negates that first single target, single target ability. Thank you for the follow. Always wondered about that. And so it only it only negates that a single target spell Stormbolt, um, maybe not the AOE effect of a Frost Nova, but a Frost Nova effect if it is um, cast directly onto a Death Knight as the Blade Master retreats back. Lin will win. What that blade is a beast. Well, that bl and here's the thing: both players are reaching tipping points. Whoever is able to get enough, get that first bit of momentum, uh, will have a clear advantage into the rest of that fight. Death Knight getting to level five is absolutely huge, and it looks like 120 knows exactly and, and, and knows exactly that. Going to try and clear out some creep camps in order to get that last bit of experience. And there's that level up for level three death coil and snares onto those obsidian statues, but unable to really punish punish this except for a crypt fiend that was lost in transit. Gonna go ahead and get into an engagement. Um, well, quick silence onto the shadow hunter. Shadow hunter now down to 199 hit points, has to back away. There's a stomp going down now. He wants to get a healing wave off. There's gonna go a healing wave. Now bounces away as he doesn't want to stick around in this battle either. Torrin Chieftain already down to 500 hit points, even with the Kagar's gem of health taking so much damage. There goes in a giant stomp there. Blade Master wants to well, finish off many of these units. There's another healing wave. The shadow hunter trying to stay in the back here as both sides engaging. All right, destroyers are really going after those targets here. Torrent Chieftain is currently silenced, unable to throw down a stomp, waiting for that stomp or the silence to come to an end. It seems like it is lasting forever and a day as the silence finally ready. There is a stomp there, but is that going to be enough? It may not be as the Death Knight does have a potion of lesser and vulnerability ready. Shadow Hunter now low on mana, unable to keep things alive. Berserkers are in the back, both sides fighting back and forth as the Obsidian statues are keeping the undead heroes topped off on on mana and thereby hit points as well kodo is trying to chomp down on a crypt fiend there goes one obsidian statue blade master now being forced to retreat back as well blade master gets up to level five as we're going to be looking at some more damage blade master trying to finish off some more targets if he can take finish off that obsidian statue oh finn does not finish it off blade master gets blasted down and that sh and that one obsidian statue finally does fall Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 3. Death Coil saving up the Dark Ranger as the Death Knight getting to level 5 was the big difference. What a close, close game. I don't think I've seen 
a closer game in terms of score, a 10 point difference between a 120 and Lin. Lin actually having the lower score, but coming out on top as many of the heroes were taken down. No overlay because of the new patch. Yep, still waiting for, um, well, still waiting for that patch number to get um, accepted. And hopefully we will be able to continue to watch some high level Warcraft 3 together. But really great game. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below. Really a nail biter. Both sides reaching that tipping point. 120 recognizing that if by clearing out a creep camp, starting that battle with level 3 death coil really pushed him over the edge there to be able to come away with the victory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.